George says substitute collateral allows a lender to continue earning interest. So what we, so what I taught in this section was that when you have borrowed money on a deal for, uh, for your real estate deal. And so I do, I borrow a lot of what we call seconds or junior lien positions, smaller amounts of private money, not amount of money that I'd use to buy a house, but for rehabbing, say for example. So I may have like a $30,000, note that I've borrowed uh, to rehab a house. Now let's say I sell that house um, and, and, the, and the note has not expired. So if I have another property, another collateral, okay, piece of collateral that I can then keep that note open to that lender can keep earning their interest and I don't have to pay off that $30,000 note in this example, I can just substitute or change the collateral that's backing that note. Does that make sense, Jeffy? Yeah. So Jay, what you're saying is that you don't have to pay back that private lender uh, and, and pay them on the interest because you still have time left on that note. So instead of uh, them only getting interest on four months of payments uh, because you sold the property within four months, you know, it's a 12 month note. You got eight months left. You just take that and put it on another property and they continue to get paid on those eight months. Now, something that goes along with that is a lot of times when I have a new private lender that is doing business with us, if I, get, if I cash out, I'm going to pay them off or whatever. One of the first things they say is, well, Jay, can't you just keep the money? I don't want the money back. And the answer is, is you got to either substitute the, if you're doing the business my way, because we I don't borrow any unsecured money. It's all backed by real estate. Um, can I do that legally? Sure. But I want to protect and give the security to the uh, private lenders. So they'll ask, well, can't you just keep the money, Jay? And the answer is I can, if I've got another property that I can uh, uh, collateralize that note. In other words, I can't, I'm just not going to keep the money. Uh, if you pay it off and you're not just shooting the collateral, then the real estate attorney, can't keep it in their escrow account, what we call unassigned. And, you know, just, I mean, they, they, they're not a savings account, right? So I've either got to pay them back or substitute the collateral. Mm -hmm.